And new at six, we're taking a deeper dive into Tampa's development boom as city leaders break ground on a multi-million dollar housing development today along the Hillsborough River. But as it's set to bring hundreds of affordable units to the area, 10 Investigates Emerald Morrow shows it's already squeezed out some people as we explore the changing face of Tampa. Today's announcement with the city skyline as a backdrop sets the stage for continued growth in West Tampa. But the question becomes, what is the price tag for progress? In a growing city where rents constantly on the rise and housing can be hard to find. We need housing at all levels. We really do. News of 234 budget based apartments just steps away from the Hillsborough River in West Tampa is welcome. New businesses coming in, new schools. It's just a renaissance for this neighborhood. A public private partnership between the city of Tampa, the Tampa Housing Authority and the related urban development group. The Rome Yards at West River will eventually be home to about 1000 new mixed income apartments in an area that once struggled with poverty and crime. Not a whole bunch of slum and black drugs going on in and out the house. But have something positive, have something that looks nice, something that looks good, that they can afford, that don't cost several hundred thousand dollars, a thousand thousand dollars to rent in. Joe Robinson has lived in West Tampa for decades and is actively involved in conversations about redeveloping the area. Something I've been working on for over 50 years. West Tampa has long been home to a large part of the city's black and Hispanic populations, but with all the development, some fear gentrification. Close to 2,000 people from the now demolished North Boulevard homes have already been moved to other parts of the area. And just a few months back, 10 Investigates showed how plans for the Rome Yard development displaced a center serving families and children in need, despite a lease agreement in place. I honestly believe that it's about the investors. It's not about the community. What do those children mean to you? A lot. That's our future. It really is. Which is why Robinson says it is important to be at the table when these conversations are happening. And I believe that my effort of bringing my skill set to West Tampa, especially this inner core slum and blighted area, has got some positive results. And the day is one of them. A positive result, a smile on a few faces. Emerald Morrow, 10 Investigates. The gallery at Rome Yards is set to be completed by 2026, but before any apartments go up, developers must do some remediation to get rid of contamination on the land. To watch more of Emerald's investigations on the changing face of Tampa, download our 10 Tampa Bay Plus app on your streaming device.